Hello there, Glenn Wallace here with the Land Farm No Masters Fuzz. This is a collaboration between Land Devices and Farm Pedals. It's their take on a Selmer buzz tone. This is my first experience with anything by Farm Pedals. Uh, third pedal by Land Devices. I love Land Devices. The very first one I ever did of those for a review was the HP2 Killer Harmonic Percolator clone, which I will be using alongside this guy. Anyhow, Selmer buzz tone. Anything you look up about it, right away you're going to hear stuff. Uh, you're going to find the things that say Sid Barrett, Astronomy Domain, Pink Floyd's first record, or you know one of the first known ones, Piper at the Gates of Dawn. And that is most of what you're going to see about it. As far as what kind of pedal it is, it's a pretty weird one. It's a fuzz, but back in the day, it only ran on two AA batteries. So it was only three volts, right? That's weird. I've never seen that before. So just to compare it to a couple other things out there. Um, take a look at this picture. If you look at the original buzz tone, at least I think this is the original advertisement for it, uh, you can see it's got the volume and the depth knob. And then in the back is the, the you know, the two AA batteries, so, you know, there's, there's three volts. The depth is basically the thickness of the fuzz and then volume, volume. Okay, but the pedal's just always dirty. So, Going forward to a company like Jex to Les that came out with the buzz tone, check out this one. As you see, it's got a vaulted switch in the middle and then it's got the volume and depth, very much like the original buzz tone. So the vaulted switch, you can do three volts, six volts, or nine volts. And a lot of people just think the sweet spot is kind of around six volts. I'll get to what the voltage stuff does, or at least describe it in the best way that I can. And then coming to the uh, land farm, no masters, at least what it seems to me, this is the volume knob, this is the voltage switch. So rather than getting to select just three different ones, you kind of have a sweep of, I think it's 3.5 volts all the way to nine volts. You can hear it makes a little bit of noise when you do it. And then this side seems to be their version of the depth knob. Over here, it's a lot cleaner. Going over here, it gets a lot meatier and louder. So that to me is kind of what this is, you know, as far as the original Selmer's concern, this is sort of like the depth knob right here. And then this whole voltage selection option. This is basically so you can, when you're down here, and it seems to give you just a little bit smoother of a sound. And then when you go to the higher voltages, you can hear it starts to get spikier um, all the way up. And actually, let me go all the way back, so solid neck pickup here, okay? It's kind of changing pickups before. Okay, moving it up. As it goes up, you can hear it starts to get, you get a little more defined pick attack and it's just a little bit spikier. You know, if I turn the fuzz part of it up, you can really hear it. Let me chunk out just some 90s alternative chords here.
so that's a pretty nifty control, you know. It's a, just a, you know, usually on overdrive and fuzz and distortion and all sorts of pedals, we always have like a level and a drive and then a tone knob. So this is, this is like a weird tone knob. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. So that is that side of the pedal. And just to show you real quick, uh, I really like putting it on a bridge pickup right up the middle like this. Um, this guy's slightly over here. Just get this nice, dirty, sputtery, broken fuzz clean. That's my favorite sound on that side. So, just to check out the other side real quick. So it gets a lot louder. Okay, I'm on the middle setting on this GNL right now. I'm gonna go all the way back. Okay. All right, start moving it up. So it is insanely loud. It actually, sometimes when I'm playing out of the sky, it will vibrate the acoustic guitar strings to the uh, guitar that is hanging on my wall and it freaks the hell out of me. It's also kind of awesome. All right, so just all the way up, just to hear it. So, super chunky, incredibly loud, very, very cool. All right, so here, let me just um, back the camera out here. Oop, wrong way. So as you can see, I've got some other fun pedals here. You can kind of see the Land of Ice's HP2 over here. I've got the Zvex Vertical Box of Rock, which is, it's the same as the horizontal one. It's just, you know, it's a space saver and it has this cool little drawing on it. Uh, then, okay, this, we saw this. And then the Land of Ice's EP5. So just to show you what running some other pedals into it and out of it can do, because it is pretty fun to do it like that. So here we go. You know, here's my nice little up the middle tone. Now, when you run boosters before overdrive pedals, you get a little more saturation. So here we have the EP5 on its lowest setting. Go to the middle setting on the EP5, it's a little more mid-range heavy. See, here we go. And if I start pushing things up, Put on the neck pickup, roll your tone knob back a little. Just super sludgy stuff. I really like that. All right, and then go all the way over to this super heavy setting on the EP5. 
And this one really helps for rolling the tone off. So you know, go off all the way. That's fun. Love rolling the tone knob off on fuzzes. Just love the whole 8-bit Nintendo-y sound. So into another pedal, uh, one of my new faves. It's been around for a while, but Box of Rock, killer pedal, man. All right, there it is. I love this. So I'm on, like, in between the neck pickup, turning my tone knob down a little, turn it up on here. So again, very, very cool, just sludgy, sludgy, sputtery, fuzzy rock tone. Like that's, I just, I love that stuff. I, I use all these just stupid words because I don't know what to call it, but when I'm saying sludgy, sputtery, and broken, and just messed up uh, about fuzz tones, it means that I really like it. Finally, over here, we can't see all of it. Uh, here it is. Hello. The Land Devices HP2 cool pedal. On the left side, the unity gain occurs at this really low volume. And I've talked about this before. See, I've got it almost all the way up right now. So, because of that, you can take really loud pedals like this dude, and you can turn them on. And then let's make it loud over here. Oh my god, that's loud. And then we turn this guy on. And now we can turn it up and then we get our true just destroyed guitar. Okay, maybe a little too destroyed with the voltage all the way up there. However, one of my favorite sounds, you know, we can turn the gain down a little on. And whatever, let's just do this. So getting a little ridiculous there, but it is cool to run this guy along with you know some of the other land devices pedals just they they interact very very well together so that is the land farm no masters fuzz very cool take on the selmer buzz tone hope you enjoyed it i will see you next time